WUAB 43 Forum. So, uh, Karen, let's talk a bit more about why it's so important to eat a healthy diet. Well, Harry, you know, if, if one day you bend, you have a big steak or you have a lot of chocolate, one Maybe day. Maybe one day. Well, that's the point. <laughs> if you do that one day, that's, that's really not going to affect you too much. But if you're 20 years old and every day you're eating a little bit more calories, a little bit more sodium, not taking in enough calcium, by the time you're 40, that's going to affect you in a way of uh, chronic health conditions such as high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, osteoporosis. For instance, if I'm not taking in enough calcium a day, for adults is about 1,000 milligrams per day and vitamin D, and you need to do some exercise to build strong bones. If I'm like slacking on that for 10, 20 years, by the time I get to 40, I may have osteopenia and maybe moving towards osteoporosis. So it's not, the reason we want to do healthy eating is for the long term to avoid chronic diseases but unfortunately the reason a lot of us don't stick to it is because we don't notice right away we might notice a little weight gain but we don't notice those chronic diseases that are slowly catching up with us and it's all cumulative over the years it's not, as you say catches up with us we don't feel as as well as we used to move as fast as we used to get up a little more slowly than we used to you're years away from that and so are you I mean I can feel and hear the pops every day so I know what you're talking about um, but how do you help someone who wants to eat better, but is not for various reasons? It is difficult to break lifelong habits. If you've eaten poorly for 20, 30 years, it's kind of hard to change that. Well, the thing that I always tell clients is think about adding in rather than taking away. If you're not exercising, try to do 30 minutes a day of moderate intensity exercise. And what moderate intensity means is that when I'm exercising, I can talk but not sing. So that's not really too bad. You can walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes a day. You can ride the bike. And then you want to move gradually towards 60 minutes a day five days a week. Now you can cut that time down if you work out a little more intensely, but at 30 minutes is where we start to see health benefits such as our blood pressure improving, cholesterol levels improving, um, our cardiovascular function in improving. When we get to 60 minutes, and unfortunately a lot of people don't like to hear this, that's where we get weight loss. People who lose weight and keep it off, studies show that they are doing 60 minutes of moderate intensity cardiovascular activity five days a week but you don't don't take an all-or-nothing attitude if you're not exercising start with 20 then go to 30 and see where you can fit it in between your day and we have to be realistic if we can only do 30 do that you'll get health benefits some is better than none the next tip that I'd like to give is think about, you know, all of us aren't great chefs like Sarah here. So think about adding in vegetables instead of, you know, we hear all the time, reduce portion sizes. Well, you know, I have this pizza here. If you love pizza, are you really going to cut it in half and be satisfied with just a half a slice of pizza? Think about having a salad first because it's got fiber and that's going to fill you up and eventually you're not going to be able to eat that whole piece of pizza. It's also got important vitamins and minerals that help with our metabolism so they get things moving. Okay. Sarah, let's get you back into the conversation. She mentioned that you are a great chef. Now talk some about the foods you prepare for your family and why it's so important that uh, others understand how important the right foods are if you want to live a long and healthy life. Well, some of the foods that I prepare for my family um, really start, like she was saying, with some of the, the vegetables and just, you know, the basic nutrients. So every morning um, we make smoothies with our Vitamix, which we just absolutely love. And they will be helping with the um, event that we have coming up on March 5th, so it's very exciting. Um, we put some of the kale and different things like that in there and then some fruit. Um, we always add a little bit of fat, so like a coconut milk or coconut oil, and my four-year-old just loves them, and I love them as well. It really kind of gets the brain moving, gets you out of bed. Um, and then I actually don't do too much of the, the cooking for the company that I work with. Um, Innovation Food is a, a branch of the company, and they specialize in nutritious meals for children um, that are of school age. And this actually is one of the examples um, that we put together to show you know, a nice balanced uh, meal with the chicken, the vegetable, um, the fresh fruit, and then a whole grain biscuit. So really bringing all those components together is how you're going to balance the meals that you need to have. You know, it is so important that uh, we see those around us eating properly and exercising oh, yeah. properly. Uh, how do you motivate your family? Is it just because you 
know you have some health conditions that you really need to say, guys, we need to stay on the straight and narrow, or is it just over time they get in the habit of doing it because it's what you've put on the table for them? It's a little bit of both, in all honesty. Um, my son, I've been very fortunate. He's always just like food. He, he picked up a piece of asparagus one day and ate it, and that was, you know, kind of how it all started for us. Um, when it comes to being physically fit, my son used to watch me do yoga when I was at home, and he would try to do some assists, and finally we put him in a yoga class, and he takes a lot of pride in that, and then we do it together. So um, sometimes I can get my husband to participate, but not always. Uh, well, keep so. plugging away. One day he will when he sees all the benefits and feels better about, uh, you know, what he's seeing in you and in your son. Uh, you mentioned March 5th, and there's an event coming up. Tell us what that is and how you're going to be participating. Well, um, the company that I work for will be participating at the level of the competition, and basically the how to work is there'll be um, two divisions of it. There'll be the, the people's choice and then the dietitian's pick. <clears throat> We're going to be doing uh, one dish, which is over on the table there that Chef Brian, who um, works for our company, put together. And then we're also going to be doing a dessert, which is a vegan gluten-free brownie that I developed um, more specifically for my family because it fits within their needs. Karen, really, she's kind of the, the expert on the competition, though. Tell us where and when and a little bit more about it. Well, Nutritious and Delicious, it's the seventh annual, and it is a food tasting competition. And we have chefs from all different locations, primarily where dietitians work, where we have chefs from hospitals, from catering businesses, from restaurants, and they each provide 200 bite-sized samples of a healthy entree and participants will pay uh, $35 and they get two glasses of wine and then they taste every single item and then they vote they have a ticket we put it it's for a people's choice award this year we also added a healthy dietitians pick because sometimes we found that maybe the most healthy item did not win mm. and it is called nutritious and delicious so we wanted to give our dietitians stamp of approval it's a really fun event uh, you can find out more information at eatrightakron.org all right, very good. Well, ladies, I want to thank uh, you, Sarah, for coming in. We got a little switcheroo here. We we're about halfway through the program, but thank you so very much for coming in and, and sharing with us how to eat better and how to motivate our families thank to you. eat better. Because we do know that eating, is, as most things, are learned it's the kind of habits that we have to get into. So keep up the good work, and we appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. All righty, we're going to take another break, and when we come back, more about wellness and how to incorporate healthy items into your daily meals with us, don't go away.